Okay, how are we looking? A, B, C. One, two, three. Beep, beep, beep. Boop, boop, boop. All synced up? All right. Good start, good start. All right, anyways, welcome back to Life is Strange. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... I'm pretty sure it's going to give us a recap, so we're just going to go ahead and hit continue. Now, this one I've only seen... Part of I probably like seeing the first half of it from uh, Bowling Honor's Let's Play, and that's about it. In the previous episode of Life is Strange, get that gun away, he's psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Headbutt the dude. Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I Got a bail master breakfast is a go.
It's probably got us this water every day. Probably not to have water every day. Um, let's take a shower first before we take a selfie. I could get lost if Warren is blowing up my inbox now. As long as he helps me figure this out. Too much time. Hey, Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been looking long and hard about your weird request. I sent you a bunch of physics and science links, and without further ado, there's a few time travel films you must see. I'll send some more as they come to mind. The doctor expects a full explanation for your newfound chrono interest. The Time Machine, the 19, 1960 version. That's the one I actually saw, and I actually liked that movie. Fun and early steampunk sci-fi. And more like faces. Yeah, I remember that. Primer. Primer. Never saw that one. Lo-fi time traver travelers in Dallas. Brilliant. I'll explain it to you after you watch it. Time after time. H.G. Wells uses a time machine to chase Jack the Ripper to modern day San Francisco. Super cool and cleft pulp fiction. Serious. Switching between timelines gives a good basic outline of relativity. Relativity. Hmm. Plus Uma. Somewhere in time. Somewhere in time. Big cult around this romantic sci-fi written by Richard Matheson. Uh, best kind of chick flick. You try like a baby like I did. Somewhere in time. Isn't that a movie with Christopher Reeve? Before he got paralyzed? Time slip. You can borrow my copy of this awesome Japanese flick or we can watch it together. <laughs> Date. Sonny Ch Sonny Chiba! Yes! Oh my god, I like this guy's taste in movies. Sonny Chiba and his soldiers end up back in the samurai days. Basically, tanks versus ninjas. Time cop. Jean-Claude Van Damme does the splits and a kitchen counter in his underwear. Need I say more? Uh, that is all the time I have now as to do I ha as I do have an actual quantum physics to plow through. And not your fun Back to the Future homework that I never get. Yeah, where is Back to the Future? You'd think they'd be able to mention that. Uh, now that you've discovered the art of science, I expect to see you in the lab more, uh, more as well. I could always get the... I could always use a new partner in time. Get it? <laughs> Don't hit. I'm leaving. Doctor Who? Too much... Uh, get his uh, little icons, even the TARDIS. That's pretty funny. This is so insane, it sounds logical to me. Uh, join the Chrononauts? Time travel is not just a science fiction. History has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all rules of time and space continuum. The present dilemma is that those who can navigate temporal dim dimensions are rightly reluctant to reveal themselves due to the impact of public and government scrutiny. Nations around the world have spent literally billions of dollars trying to build, in top secret, their own version of a time machine. Thankfully, that is not a case where infinite revenue equals control equals control of the infinite. Or you might not be reading this website at all. This is where the chronauts enter the picture. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. This wormhole thing makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. What about the, that one called A Wonderful Sound of Thunder? Never heard of that one. Welcome to the wonderful world of the wormhole. A term lazily overexploited in science and science fiction for neophytes to visualize a wormhole as like an invisible tunnel from one end of space to another. Thus, if wormholes exist, time travel is possible and probable. A human trick has discovered the means or device needed to link and traverse both ends of this time tunnel. Einstein's theory of relativity uh, posits that this that this is within the realm of theory, while a new generation of physicists hope to develop an actual model, actual working model, of this fascinating space-time conundrum. Inside wormhole are links. It's actually called an Einstein Rosen bridge. Uh, I think that yeah, that's right. The I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? What are quantum physicists trying to control time? Why are quantum physicists trying to control time? As you read the words for you know, around the world are using taxpayer funded government programs to shatter our notions of time and space, potentially altering the course of history itself. Hmm. And I thought I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around. Bring it, Blackwell bloodsuckers. Dana of the Dead.
We're gonna dress up for Halloween. I can't keep my eyes open, but I know there's a scientific. Time answer. is like a river. Bullshit! I'm drowning in time. My head hurts after a longer rewind. And thinking about this now, take a giant step backward for mankind. Schrodinger's cat could exist in two different time zones. Hello, time kitty. Ah, uh, law of thermodynamics can obviously be broken, so no rules, only guidelines. Burn your clock. Time is like an arrow, Newton. Or is time like two arrows at the same velocity, hitting two targets independent of each other, leading to two different results? What the hell am I writing? Rewind only limited by time itself. Right now I only have enough time to go back a certain amount of time. Irony or evolution? Maybe I do have time ex- Maybe I have to do time exercises, but how? And books. I could rewind for days and read all the of The Moron's books. Guide to Time Travel. Will I really find any insight into my power? Alright, we already saw all of this. Hi-fi and drawer. It would be fun to get yeah. some peeps together and play a real game instead of drama games. Game off brand magic the gathering cards. Keep calm and carry on. She actually has that for a rug. Anyways, let's move on. Um yeah. Gordon, seriously? Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. And don't forget my double decaf latte with mocha sprinkles. Ow! Wait, somebody got hurt? Toilet paper? What the hell just happened? One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. What the hell? Somebody just like freaking threw toilet paper at her? Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Who the hell throws that? toilet paper? Seriously. Let's take a look back. Uh, I think I'll be way too scared to go. Days. The marks of Satan. Bang for God. Wait, isn't this uh? What's what's her name's uh? Victoria's room. Be the change you wish to be. See Gandhi. Kate, that's right, just Kate's from. Yeah, I don't want to bother her. Ah, so yeah, that's the uh, the social media site. Where's the freaking bathrooms? Juliet's room. There you go. Showers. There she is. Wait. We're in bare feet. Why aren't we wearing shower shoes? Oh, uh, hey, Kate. Sorry about yesterday. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't do anything to help. But you're just like everybody else here. It's not true. I wanted to help, but, but. Whatever. It's done. Jeez. By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes She looks for like class. she's been crying. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Oh my.
What's oh, up, Kate? Great. It's cool. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. You got something on your face, Victoria. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. Sure, that's not man way. juice. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate or Max. Yeesh. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> Bitchy, oh yeah, big time. Are we wearing the same clothes we slept in and like we didn't get a fresh uh fresh set of, uh, set of clothing? I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking Katesvid.com? Is that a real thing? Is that the link HTTV to Kate's video? Katesvid.com, yeah. Damn, Victoria is so fucking Let's mean. erase it. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Hello? Oh. Water? Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> Oops. Rachel is a whore. Otter power? Otter power. So Can you swim to success? Tampon dispenser. I'm good to flow. Thanks. Well, all right then. Hell? Ugh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Nobody messes with me, bitch. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. The hell? Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go Wait, to the That was principal. Nathan who did this? How the hell did he get in here? Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact store every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Can I clean this up? There we go, put it away. Kate's book. Kate's book. Papers. No book here. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. We better fix this fast. Rewind. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to our list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. It's only a little bit. It could have easily just chugged that instead of just left it there, you know. 
Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Think you'd be able to lock your door? How's this? Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. That's totally Nathan. That oh, is totally shit. Nathan. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. But it could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. We're gonna get mugged. If I'm not alright. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Yeesh. Oh, she plays the violin. Nice. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Please, uh, call us. Kate, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss this matter. We hope you haven't brought shame on you or your fa or our family. We pray for you and expect to pray for expect you to pray for forgiveness. Your mother, Jesus, it's kind of harsh. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Uh, I wonder why. <gasps> bunny! That is the cutest bunny ever. Oh. I bet Kate is a good mommy. Oh, we can take a photo of it. Take a I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Postcard. Kate really has a doting father. And the light and darkness, light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehend it not. John 1 5. Kate, you'll always be my brightest light against the dark. Hugs and love, pop. Aww. Alright, let's not look in their trash though. I saw a Bible around here. Maybe Kate has a split personality. Safe, not sorry. Church girl by day, party monster by night. <laughs> Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. I had nothing to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Why is this one crossed out? Proverbs 21.15, when justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. Hmm. Well, I guess she probably likes this one more. Is that it? Alright, let's go ahead and give her a... Uh... Poor Kate. She doesn't look good. Um, uh, hey Kate, I brought your book. Max, why didn't you do anything uh, when David go. harassed me yesterday? Uh, I wanted proof or I was scared. I kind of want to say I wanted proof because we can probably tell that he was bothering any kind of other student. Probably nobody would believe it unless we, I don't know. But I get the feeling that, that, um, David isn't really that much of a, uh, isn't that much of a, like, a, a hassle. He's just trying to do the right thing, even though it's a bit extreme. <sighs> Ephesians 6.11? Uh, what's that one? I was scared. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I was scared. I can be pretty gutless. I don't expect you to get in trouble for me. I just feel like nobody cares. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, 
He's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Ew. Um. Either square or triangle. Oh god, this is a little hard. I don't know. If, uh... I'd probably say square. I'm gonna say square. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. Okay, so we, we don't have a chance to actually chew, like, go through all the questions. So we gotta make this, uh... I think now you say triangle. Put on the full armor of God to protect against the devil's wiles. That's a good one. Alright, so it doesn't sound like you. Why would you go? Or that's awful. Circle. Chicken, what about you? You haven't said anything in a while. Boobs. Anyways. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure? Well, it kind of sounds like she's like kind of like doubting her judgment, but I would say circle. It's not, one sip of red wine isn't enough to get wasted. I mean, even for lightweights. Plus, doesn't not she go to church to anyways? Wasted, is it? I don't get wasted, ever. I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral yeah. video. Okay. Did somebody drug you? I had to. I remember. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. God dang it. <sighs> of course it'd be Nathan Prescott. I noticed that too. I think Chicken is coming. <laughs> thinking of something evil. Uh, I think either square or triangle. I'm thinking more square. What's GHB? Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. <coughs> Nice. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Ah, oh, jeez. And... And... 
And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. Oh. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? Oh. <laughs> I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Oh, that's a tough thing to take care of. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Oh, it's a date rate uh, drug. Okay. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Yes. Should I go to the police? Oh, shit. Okay. In a real world situation, I would definitely go to the police regardless, but I don't know. She kind of doesn't have a lot going with her on this, considering that she's got that viral, vi viral video that says otherwise, but um, I don't know. She's got a lot of witnesses that say that she was acting this way, but I don't know if there's anyone who would probably say otherwise. Just square, go to the police chicken, what do you say? God dang it, make up your goddamn minds! Get look for proof. Okay, let's hope that's for the right way. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you yeah. up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Ah, oh, jeez. Thanks, Max. Hmm, jeez. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. What's this letter? Ouch. She left out amnation. Dear Kate, no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you've done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you, reached, you, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for your soul to be saved from eternal hellfire. Auntie Marsh. Now the world would end since Chicken and me agree. Well, I, I kind of go with that because most because, um, again, she has that video. She doesn't really have a lot of like eyewitnesses that probably back her up. And yeah, Nathan's got money to buy witnesses. And of course, he owns like... Pro his family probably owns half of the town and he's take advantage of that. So she doesn't really have a whole lot riding uh riding behind her. Hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Christ is watching. Kate. 
Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and positive. But hey, and that rich fucker, your mission is to end him. Yes, yes, grow, grow long, sharp teeth. That is the cutest bunny ever. I bet Katie's a good mommy. Transform into the beast of Carbonag. All right, time to go to. Wait, where's the exit? Oh, Max, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast! No emoji. Who's this? Why is your room like wide open? Uh, Juliet. Oh, is this Dana? That's the girl with the freaking. Uh... That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Cheerleader's outfit, Trevor's jacket. Let's, let's say hi. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. Now I have to go contemplate my party future. Contraceptive pill? What? Hmm. Bye. <laughs> oh, hi. Please, let me take my mind off of something else. There's Brooke, looking smarter than everybody. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. You look Asian. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. Get a life and move on, bitch. Did you talk to him yet? Mm. I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. What does that mean? Samuel truly is a weirdo, but he is great at cleaning up. Oh, hey, there's Samuel. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Birdies. Hi, Samuel. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. So... What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. <laughs> I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Oh yeah, I saw that deer. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. 
like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Squirrels are evil. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Bye, Samuel. You're funny. All right, which way am I going? Is that a totem pole? Oh. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Tabanga? Well, all right then. He sounds high. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. Who's this? This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that your attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You are not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Yeesh. Oh, Warren. Max, come on over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. How much time has passed between episode one and this one? Uh, this is yesterday. This is all yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping so we, This is pretty much the next you morning. You're pretty so. badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Mmm. I better not drag you into this. You probably might get hurt. Well, you already got a black eye from this, so let's not get you any more hurt. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Planning the apes? Hell yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. He saved your life, Max. You owe him some nookie. Plus, he obviously, obviously likes you. Murder his parents and bake them into the food and make Prescott eat them. <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? David talking to Nathan can Oh jeez. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Maybe both. Yeah, how's it going? Yeah, I don't like them. I don't like rich people either. They're so just, just makes me want to like wrap their my hands around their neck and not let go. And they're like completely stuck up and they think they're just hired. <clears throat> Sorry. I hope I can be able to post these uh, streams on YouTube and not get hit by copyright with all this music.
Oh, don't fall asleep on the bus. Don't fall asleep on the bus. You're going to miss your stop. Seven a gallon for gas? Are you kidding me? Good lord, that's expensive. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. Dream of what? Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here, waiting for the bus so I can cash it. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be holding it in your hand, probably just have it safe in a pocket somewhere where nobody would see it. And not be yammering, yammering about it constantly. That's just asking you to get your ass kicked. Alright. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Now oh, that brings back memories. Halloween Bazaar. Chloe and I loved the parade. Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. Prescott Development will invite you to live within the woods. How about no? Coming up at noon. KBay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall. Why does he sound like a surfer dude? Afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to KBay 7 News for the real story. Running late. Grab a booth at the diner, mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Dude. No, that guy looks His unpleasant. butt crack is hanging out. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, officer. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Nah, I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. Then she might know, you might know Chloe then. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Ooh. That might have been me. <laughs> I have to go. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm not anything uh, suspicious as soon as you mentioned that pot dealer. I'm gonna go. See ya. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Yeah, wait, to change the subject. Is she a friend of yours? I have to go. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Uh, yeah. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need mm. her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. Do you know David? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? <laughs> yeah, it's quite quite a bit of quite of a reputation at the school. He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. 
at the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. I have to go now. Enjoy you your probably breakfast. tried to be part of the police By the way, force. One thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Now, why would you go well, and say policy. that? The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. RV, why don't you mention that? Leaflets. I might make Chloe check this out. Sasquatch! Why does that so not sound fun? Journey in total safety and comfort. Hmm. At least include fishing in there. Come on now. This guy has serious corners. All day sea adventure, charter, on ocean voyage. You've seen him on TV, read about him in the news. Local captain, fisherman, and marine expert with 30 years of experience. I'll take you, your group, on a three-hour tour. Three-hour tour. Gilligan's Island, anyone? Arcadia's lush and aqua exotic aquatic kingdom. Jack will not only explain the importance of our marine life to the ecosystem, it'll even help you catch and pair your own fish from the sea. See, now, that I would go for. If you got some deep sea fishing, I'm all for that. This guy has serious corners. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Ugh. Yeah, let's just go find a boot. Trevor. Wait a minute, wasn't your jacket in the... Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By Holla. Way, I Dude, what is up with your going. face? Wait, what? Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Ooh. Wait, what? What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. You are oddly casual about it, but I guess you're Blaze, so I guess it wouldn't matter. Oh, sorry, I'm into a girl that kind of you're into. Uh, I want to get high, maybe we'll not think about it. And there she is, a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man. No matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. 
I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe's changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. Yeesh, that might be pushing into like sensitive territory if I mention Kate Marsh. I'm just gonna drop it. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh. Uh, why can't I have both? I want both. God dang it. Oh, why do you torture me like this? I kind of want the bacon, bacon omelet. Mm. God, now I'm hungry again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Chicken wants the waffle. Bacon, uh, god damn it. Uh, frick nuggets. <laughs> mm, I want both. Why can't I have both? Son of a bitch. <laughs> you two are. We, we need a tiebreaker, otherwise I'm gonna implode. Where's my coin? Where's my goddamn coin? All right, heads or tails, somebody call it. Heads, all right. Waffle it is. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Now I want a waffle. I'm hungry now. Cut dang it. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Two Wells Diner, home style cooking, home style eggs and bacon, five fifty, apple sausage omelet, six twenty five, Bigfoot bacon omelet, six fifty, breakfast cheeseburger. Oh, that sounds awesome. Gold potato omelet, fresh oatmeal, morning glory waffle, Belgian waffle and fried fish. That sounds like something my mom would get. Bigfoot bacon hash browns. Oh. Crab cakes. I gotta stop. I'm getting hungry. What's this? Uh... I love nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. It's not my decision. I let the fates choose. Again, this is an interactive, an inter interactive stream. So. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. A diner, not a bar. No beer. <laughs> it looks like this you. is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Order ready. No 
beer? What, what kind of dive is Who sells beer at a, at a diner? Incoming. This is like fourth dimensional okay, deja vu. That. This. I'm drooling like a baby. Oh man, that looks awesome. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. Speak of the day. Nah. <laughs> Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl, a woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant. <laughs> Call him David. Sergeant you Pepper. Don't be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ouch. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your super. Oh boy. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Wait. What? I got. I have to see what you have before I can prop... Uh, obviously. Keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Uh, I don't... Bullet, I guess. Razor blade. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? I get... Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in Thank my Thank you. Cigarettes. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Alright, just give me a sec. Just give me a sec. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Oh, it's a panda. Panda car keys. Seven cigarettes. Is that seven? Yeah, it's seven. Uh, some change. Let's see. Eighty-six. Eighty-six cents. And a parking ticket. Out of the parking bay. Twin Peaks. At 10.34 a.m. Eighty-six cents. Seven cigarettes and a panda keychain. Time to rewind. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Um, your car keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It's a p oh, Kuga probably would have picked a penguin, but it's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, That's Super a robot Max. panda? You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Mmm, cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Uh, seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, change. You got... Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? E 86 cents. 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. And of course, last but not least, a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh, it's a good thing I saw it. 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! You 
believe me now. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. He's <laughs> like, how do you like me now? You have powers. Well, yeah. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. God, I'm hungry. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. <laughs> Clearly. Uh, Duran Duran. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No okay, refill for broke you. Broke a mug. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Um. That's the best song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's life. <laughs> so, what are you waiting for? Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, um... Trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um... Alert on the cop's radio and he leaves and he answers. His partner leaves. Who does that anyway? Has that, has that ever happened? The alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, I doubt that ever let's happens. Let's see how this goes down. Uh, Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. No, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh, jukebox, jukebox goes crazy as a what? As a cockroach crawls on it, as a fly lands on it. I didn't see anything. I wasn't looking at the. Oh god, dang it! Um, shit. Can I rewind? Uh, if there was a butterfly, I probably would have seen it. Uh, I'm gonna say fly lands on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a fly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. Oh, so Slap cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, a cockroach crawls on it, so I missed that. This is a sad day in Maxville. This is sure the hell better than that other. All right, so let's rewind. Let's try that again. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, uh, trucker drops his mug. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Um, on the cop's radio and the partner leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. There's a fight, and Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. And a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes Oops. crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. 
Oh, so it's an actual cutscene. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. <laughs> this isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use Screw it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow with up. great power comes great responsibility. You made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say <laughs> uh, Check oh, out your yeesh. nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Oh, but it's not like a whole, like, uh, John Travolta and up getting like a huge tumor in my brain. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Oh, Black shit. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Oh, frick nuggets. I have to answer it. I have to. I have to answer that one. If it was anybody else, if it was Warren, I probably would, uh, wouldn't mind, but if it was Kate, that's a, that's a different story. I don't think this is even even for a debate. I have to answer this. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? Sorry, Chloe. I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. <laughs> Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Who's that dude? A junkyard? Why are we at a junkyard? Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. She's totally got a brain tumor. It's gonna kill her in the end, I bet you. This is totally John, Tra you John Travolta from Phenomenon. After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? No. Yes, but not... Trigger that discipline! Knows. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Eh. Are we gonna shoot bottles? Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Are you kidding me? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, 
Pretty please? It's your junkyard, why don't you go find it? Jeez. Fine, fine. You expect me to find bottles in a place like this. What's up here? A flat football. The Bigfoots were here. Car wreck. Plank. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too Bridge. Heavy. Oh. oh Alright then. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Okay, well, there's one. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. How's in here? Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steam bump. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Then Chloe chimes in and is like, Uh, Max, why are you sitting down? You've got bottles to find. We get up. Oh, there we go. Syringes? What? Right, we gotta go make, we gotta make our way down there. Gun shells. Those are shotgun shells. Those shells look fresh. Is somebody hunting around here? Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the Yeesh. ground. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just probably morbid? I don't want to go that way. Oh. Okay then. This looks like a graffiti museum for oh. Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. See our Chloe and Rachel. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. But you got replaced. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. That's a CD, not a tape. Oh, here we go. Boom. Only two La La Land left. this way. <laughs> I want to die. Jeez, who wrote this? Probably Chloe when uh, Rachel left, I guess. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. So wait, she was a student? She was a student at Black Blackwell? Okay, like my time and texts are infinite, plus I have an unlimited messaging. Uh, I'll make you a list of essential books, essential movies. You know, like sci-fi, just think hard about it, okay? Hit me up anytime if you have any other questions. I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. Ha 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 ha. We're so going, ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5. Uh, I drive. Hell yeah, we will in your new ride. We have to get supplies to the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever. 
Anyway, go ape. Too late. Oh, she, he totally wants her. He totally wants her. They would have gone all the way to Los Angeles for a rave. Looks fun. I don't want to intrude, but... Chloe was here. Rachel was here. <laughs> Do I get the... <laughs> Should I write? <laughs> Max was here. Uh, she said she didn't want to intrude, so... Um, we got what we wanted anyways. Let's see. It's a shirt. This is the scariest thing here. Hmm. Old doll? No, that is the scariest thing. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Mama. Yes, what? Beyond repair. Rest in peace. Squirrel! I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Oh, hey. There we go. Three bottles. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up bottles. That's kind of dark. At least it wasn't a Chucky doll. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same doe from my tornado vision. That's a ghost! Vision. You're tripping balls, Max. That doe is the perfect photo op. Is it even there? Oh, it's not even there. She's totally imagining it. She totally has a friggin... That's, that's totally a tumor. Where did it go? Alright, let's go ahead and go back to the... Uh... What's this? so quiet and primordial out here I always feel uh, like another session of soliloquy like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something I just have to figure out the yeah you've message. got a tumor in your brain in that puddle. Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. What, it used to be Chloe's or Rachel's maybe? Come on, two more bottles. We gotta find it around here somewhere. bottles. Maybe in an old refrigerator. There's one right here. Oh, it's empty. So. Washing machine. Refrigerator. Old camera. Boat. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. 
Oh, here we go. Can we reach that? Oh, come on. Is there anything we can do? Ah, here we go. Four bottles. Ah, ah, ah. One more bottle to go. Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess we shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that, that is so not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess, but thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. XO, talk to you later. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. Pacific Steve's famous buttons. crab. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay mm. junk. Another reason for me to be hungry. Is there an empty bottle in the back? I don't want to go that way. Is there an empty bottle in the truck? No? Hey. It could have easily gotten a uh, friggin' uh, what's it called? A tin Every can. Car has its own tale in history. I mean, I'm sure that'd be a viable target too. Did I go over here? Bottle where? Oh, it's in there. Campfire? I'm sure this is a popular party. Probably. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Yeah, we, we just saw it. It's right there. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle to Chloe. Okay, that scared me. Now what? Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. Alright, anyways, we got our five bottles. Let's get out of here. Chloe, you got your stupid bottles. You drunk? Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Do I really? Show well, me the first way. First off, you should probably extend your arms a little bit further up. First. And actually use the sights. A little more to the right. A bit to the right, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. somebody's gonna get shot. Oh, yes, did you see that shit, Max? Duh, that was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. 
Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Nope. A little bit further up. Up. Oh. God dang it. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. You should probably not flinch. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Um. Oop, oh no. Hello? Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. Really? Whoa, well, what should I shoot? Mm. Let's see you take a crack at that rusty barrel. Sorry, Mr. Barrel, your time has come. Whoa! Listen to those fat bullet feet! Okay, we're never doing that again. That's gonna end up coming back at us. Um. Sorry. Nope. Further back. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. Old school. Okay, apparently we're not happy with that. There's something over here that I saw. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Alright then. Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? Like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Um... Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Yeah, shoot the gas tank. Shoot the bumper first. Well, put a real dent in that front Maybe bumper. we knock it loose and I'll knock out the, cool uh, the bottles. Oh! Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up, back Stupid up! Stupid gun! Right Come in the on, tit. Chloe. Right in the tit. Target before I shoot. Well, let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. Limo? Boom! Car definitely down, but no. And now we burn down the entire goddamn forest. Feels good, but I didn't hit any other. Okay, fine. Bottles. Uh. Dude, I need a target a before tire. I shoot. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. There you go. Um, I want to back up. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Uh oh. Too much I don't rewinding. Know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max. <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? 
A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know. About Finger this. off the trigger. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo hoo! Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Uh oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, Frank. sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your yeah, age. Dude with, let's say that one We're cop with the, uh, the RV. Like, we both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you? Oh, shit. Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting He's tough. the one who fixed her truck. What are you hiding there, uh -oh. girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing oh, her shit. bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better Ooh. step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Well, this just escalated really fast. Please. Whoa, Please okay. You're kidding. Put that down. What? Uh Holy crap. Oh, that's a hard boom. Uh, Well, there's obviously still rounds in there. They only fired three shots, assuming that that oh, the entire cylinder was uh, loaded. Shit. Please make up from the bacon and shoot him. I, I seriously doubt this will make up for the bacon. You want me to kill a guy? But we hardly even know about, aside from the fact that he was probably the one that fixed uh, Chloe's truck and now she owes him money. It's not exactly uh, in the wrong here. Chicken, feel free to chime in. I mean, this is like... This I mean, in the off that, even if it's by some chance that she fires, even at that close range, she's not going to miss. So. Why would I want to shoot him? He, uh, it's not like, I mean, sure, he pulled off, pull a uh, switchblade on her, but just pointing it at him would be enough to scare him, right? But I don't know. I mean, it fits with a whole lot of self-defense uh, reasons. Just like a lot of reason why uh, people would uh, just 
concealed carry in the first place. Just having it would give them a sense of security, and it's one thing to have it, it's another thing to not have to shoot it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just having him know that you've got the gun would be it would would be enough for him to back off, right? Him being an asshole is not enough of a, a reason to shoot him. We just met him. He doesn't seem that much of an asshole. Oh, for the love of God, fine. That is hilarious. Wait, what? Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. I don't know, he doesn't seem like that much of a threat. He's more like more bark than bite. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Shit. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe Where'd she now. go? Oh, there she is. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power! You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Alright, thanks for coming in. Have a good night. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Don't lay down on the tracks. Isn't there are trains that still go through there. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? I'm freaked out, yeah. I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Mm. Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. <laughs> Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. Mm. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? Yeah, that, that's some pretty sketchy territory. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? Uh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. 
We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as she you She had are. to have been a student at Black... Uh, I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. Jack Kerouac. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. <laughs> I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Perfect. Ah! Shit. Hold on, Chloe. Oh shit. The train. Oh shit. There's a thing up there, hang on. Find something! Brady! Oh wait, there's a there's the uh, there's a switch track. Come on, Max, move faster. There you go. Um. Oh, frick! Get me out of here. I better find a tool to cut those wires. Max! Um. Um. Shit! I can't budget at oh, all. Oh god, dang it! Break in somehow. Whoa. Please. Is that the train? How far is it? It's right there! It's right there! Well, wait, rewind, rewind, rewind. Whew. Okay, uh... Okay, we got the crowbar. Watch the door open. <laughs> MacGyver. <laughs> oh my god, you would say that. Man, that axe looks sharp. Too sharp. Ooh, okay, uh, what can I slice with Oh, this? are we gonna have to slice off her foot? Oh my god, fine. If you want to see it that badly... For the love of God, this is not gonna be good. Oh! <laughs> I must have missed something. <laughs> I should rewind. <laughs> you were awfully casual about this, Max. All right. All right. So we got the axe. We got the cutters. The uh, the axe. I don't want to use this axe. Good Lord, Max, she's not a zombie. Find another way. Shit. Hold on. Uh, which uh, which switch am I supposed to cut? Did it say anything up there? The train's coming. There you go. Come on, Max. Hurry. Score. 
there any kind of like a diagram or something right here? What's that say? You kidding me? Uh, trial and error then I guess. yourself some more time. Okay, guess the red wire, red wire then. But which wire to cut? Max! Now there that's the right cable. Yes, I did it. Whoa! You okay? You saved me again. I'm crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was clo close. Aren't you glad I took you away to quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Starting to rain now. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? Uh... What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Butterfly effect, anyone? Enter the Vortex Club. Yeah, how about no? I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Talk to Principal Weld. Let's see what happens. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Uh, I don't want to press the issue. No. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Yeah, he... Now, if you'll excuse me. He's totally got his hand in your pocket. Hey, Trevor. Poster, Courtney. Hey, there's Samuel. Poster, Zachary. Sports trophies. 
You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the board. Best singer ever in Oregon looking for the best guitarist ever to form a kick-ass band and take over the world. Sad, lonely, depressed? Come praise with your peers. Bible study Sundays at noon in Arcadia Bay Library. Uh, swim like an otter. Like new tablet for sale, contains five gigs of cat pics. Wait, what? Sounds like somebody stole a tablet. And there's David. Two persons, poster. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Ooh. <clears throat> I gotta be honest about it. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about, what Kate? about Kate? I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Uh-oh. Soldier, you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. He's got a point, though. I guess he's probably seen as the bad guy when he doesn't want to be. I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. Science lab? I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me. I have to score some weed from Nathan. All right then. Uh, where is the science room? So you can't help Maybe me. Maybe this is your. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. What was all that about? Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos, but you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. You're not the only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Mm. Mm. I don't know, if I tell them about David and Kate, it probably might put more, like, Bad, bad rapper on David. I know he means well now, but I don't know. I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh yes, I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I don't know. I, I think... assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? This morning, yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. 
But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe oh, him? Oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, it's gonna be a... should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. I thought we were gonna go into the science room. Art class. Ah, here we go. Think, big brain, think. Thank you. Hey, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Howdy. Making your daily rounds? Mmm. How was your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over this the parking can't be lot. That hard. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You oh, you were the one that. The GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. Oh, she totally likes Warren. She was the one flying that uh, that uh, drone the other day, or yesterday. Chemistry stuff. Hey, Warren. I gotta, I gotta. Hey Warren, are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. <laughs> Another timing. Beatles we uh, reference. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Doctor Max. What are you mixing it with? I don't know. Warren, this seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Weird science. Okay. Maybe we should rewind and tell him to use sodium instead. Hey Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Lots of potassium. Yeah, blow it up, I blow it up in your think face. You use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See, look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. <laughs> yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. She blinded me with science. Sorry, right, anything else we need to do around here? Bring me the brain, Igor. Miss Grant. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. Miss Grant. Can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Hmm. Makes sense. Bye. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Oh. Guess we already knew about that. What's this? I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exam. Front to the future. 
Those are supposed to be like Doctor Who. Like characters, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Alright, let's just go ahead and go to class. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Stella! Stella! Show me the love. Hayden. How do I look, Taylor? You look like ass. <laughs> you look like ass. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. What is up with like, you ripped jeans? They're like, huge. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Draw me like one of your French girls. We did that, but okay. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Oh, well, alright then. Like, uh, how many times I've saved your life from dodging stuff? No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Shit. Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Oh. Or she'll run to Mr. Jackson. God damn it. Like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. God Max fucking is damn it. Such a little Shh, I think she can hear I'm me. standing right here, you jackholes. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. Big time. Hate bullies. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And weird. Hmm. Capturing the image. Is that Jefferson? What up, Max? <laughs> oh, I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate's got shit all over his face. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. We'll see you later. to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about- It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Got a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student? Or a friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Sorry. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, <laughs> What's your problem? There are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Um... I'm sure you read the syllabus yeah. like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiroskiro. That beautiful word about the contrast oh, between yeah. light and dark. I've heard of Kiroskiro. play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although Black and white imagery. See yeah, monochrome. Yo, some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door. Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Uh, of course nobody's gonna listen. Dismissed. Probably something with Kate. Is this for real? It slipped out. 
I didn't think she was that messed up. The hell? Kate! Oh shit. No. Oh god. Oh. I have to do something to help her. Oh no. Is that it? Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. We just stopped time. Keep going, Max. You can do it. We totally just stopped time. All right, let's go just hurry up into the... Oh, there's David right there. Wind. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself. Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? Oh, shit. I need help with this. I need help with this. Okay, I can't say it. Well, <sighs> X, I had no idea. I had no idea what was going on between you and David. Really? So you took a picture to find out? How else would I find out? You'll find out if I jump oh, right no, no, now. Oh, no, 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 Kate, don't. Please. Get out of here, Max. You can't change my mind. My life sucks and I want it over. Now. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Mm. I'm leaning towards square, but out of... I would say this is a friend, but, um... I mean, if you just say, like, I'm here for you, then it, it probably means it's like, you're, like everybody else just saying that. Uh-oh. Yeah, swan dive off the roof.
I'm gonna say square. I don't know. What do you say? better talking to okay, you on the good. phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Uh, I don't know, if we say we're gathering proof, it just seems like we're... It's an excuse. Same with, I need more time. Um, we'll see, we wasn't sure. It was like, uh we're like completely in the in the black about this. We have absolutely nowhere what to do about it, and just, and she's probably gonna think just like, okay, we can't think of anything else. Maybe I should end it off. God damn it! Uh. Why would this be too dangerous for us? I really don't know what to say. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say I wasn't sure, but I, I'd probably say gathering proof, but uh. it's a good thing we don't have a timeline for this, like the Telltale games. God. Right, I'm gonna say gathering proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. Uh. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> Shit. Everybody will forget? I don't know. I really don't know what to pick. I probably would say that everybody will forget, but if I say do be strong, I, I think it's just like, ugh. It's really not much I can be able to really kind of like pull out from all of these subjects, uh, these all of these answers. So I guess um, nobody cares, Kate. There'll be another viral Victoria video in a day, and everybody will forget. You can't scrub my video from the internet, and that's how I'll be remembered. 
Unless I jump. No, 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 no! This isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh, before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield. Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Oh, I'm gonna pin your ass to the wall. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I don't give a flying a fuck. Lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my oh, family. Oh, bullshit. Right, I would punch you if I could. To confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. I saw my everything head is pushed killing her. me. But I think I can use my power again. To do what? Pick somebody else? No, I'm gonna power pin Nathan on this shit. Fuck that. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Uh, you know you've kind of chimed in a little bit earlier. Jesus Christ. Let's call this an interactive experience for a reason. I just can't believe it. It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight, I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, 
Not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather Whoa, what? confirms this weird An eclipse? Day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I bet you there was an option to actually be able to save Kate. I bet you. Yeah, you could have easily helped me out there. I mean, come on now. There's a reason why it take forever just to freaking answer things. Talking to. Oh, it's the principal. and alcohol. Who's, who's doing that? Out of time. Ugh. Yeah, don't, don't rub it in. Oh, that was terrible. I bet you there's probably, there's probably a chance to save her. Let's find out. You told Kate, uh, 30, uh, okay, I was in the majority for telling Kate that, uh, to wait for proof. Majority to answer a uh, call. Uh, that's pretty split down between, uh, trying to shoot Frank or not. And you could save her. You could totally save her. 
you could I could have saved Kate, fifty seven percent. It's not a big, uh, it's not a big, uh, big split, but still. God damn it, friggin'. Ugh. And the majority blamed Nathan. Why would why would somebody blame Mr. Jefferson? What does he have to do with this? I'm sure he's just a teacher, but it's not much. Easy. I don't know. Uh, I wonder who the other person was. <laughs> and that will be next week, episode three Chaos Theory. And on that grim bombshell, we're gonna call it a night. Oof. Thank you. For, oh, that's the wrong screen. There we go. Thank you for joining me tonight, and we'll see you tomorrow for another session of Resident Evil Revelations 2. And then on Thursday, how many episodes is this? It's five episodes. I think it's five episodes. Yeah, it's five episodes. So. Yeah, uh, tomorrow we've got Resident Evil Revelations 2, Thursday another session of Red Dead Redemption, and we'll finish off the week with uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2 on Friday. I'll be taking next Saturday off, because I, uh, I haven't gotten the notification that uh, Resident Evil 6 is on the way yet, so I uh, probably won't get it until next week, but... Um, yeah, that'll be it for tonight. Thank you for joining me. Questions, comments, complaints that you would like me to know about or any suggestions you might have for me for future Let's Plays, Let's Tries, or WTF Gaming, or Johnny Versus, head on over to con uh, Bravo Sites Contact and Interact page and shoot them out to me over there. Also, check out Backwin, Diz, and the rest of Team Hype uh, for more streams ranging from the interesting to the entertaining. Again, thank you for joining me tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Love and Hype. Life is not good. Life life is strange right now. And life is depressing. But y'all have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye.